Hello everyone, Pallytub here, and welcome back to the A through Z playthrough. In today's video, we have landed upon Garrosh. My god, I hated this character when he was first released. He arrived into the game on August 7th, 2017, and his Q ability didn't quite work like it does right now. Let, let me show you, let, let, let's go to the tribe mode. I go over this again inside of the match, but Garrosh's Q ability is like a pizza slice and it does damage on the crust. And the other thing it does on the crust is knock up your adversaries into the air. Let's go ahead and talk the cooldowns. You can see that it's knocked up into the air. What his Q ability used to do was if you were standing here and his Q hit you, it would pull you into melee range of Garrosh, which then of course sets him up for his devastating throw ability. I was playing a lot of damage dealers at the time. And this is also when I was playing uh, Hero League at the time as well. And it was so frustrating to play against that because you could have perfect positioning behind your tank exactly where you needed to be. And it didn't matter because Garrosh would pull you into melee range and throw you into his team for immediate death over and over and over and over and over again. I hated that so fucking much. In fact, our catchphrase for Garrosh became fuck Garrosh because he was so trash. I banned him in every single game or I refused to play and he made quick match an absolute living fucking hell for me until December of that year when on the 20th, it was reverted or the, I guess changed. It wasn't reverted. It was changed to the groundbreaker that we know and love today. Christmas came a few days early that year. It was so oppressive. I hated it. I couldn't fucking stand it. And I've sworn too much for this intro. So let's go back to the other screen. His current win rate right now is 50.62% with a popularity of 38%. That makes him the eighth most popular character in the game right now. And what's interesting is there's actually four tanks all right next to each other. We have Diablo and Stitches, which are just above him in rankings, and Johanna, which is just below him in rankings. So in the top 10 most popular characters, four of them are tanks. Hmm. <laughs> in our notes for this episode, apparently last A through Z, I said Garrosh was hashtag not my war chief. Of course, talking about the World of Warcraft storyline. And it's kind of funny because, you know, Sylvanas is pretty trash. Should we have Garrosh back? I don't really know. I don't know which was better. There are two main schools of thoughts with Garrosh builds right now. You can go for really any level one talent that you want. They've been improving these over the years. Into Indomitable level four, Oppressor at seven, because very recently Into the Fray was added into his kit as a baseline ability, which is awesome. Uh, Warlord's Challenge in most cases. Blood Craze is what I've been going with at 16. Mortal Combo and whatever you want at level 20 is like the standard way of playing. But there's also a way of playing Garrosh emerging recently, which I didn't save, where you get in for the kill or thirst for battle. You go for any axe talent and then pick up Decimate and try to do as much damage while healing around you as often as you can. And that's a pretty fun way to play too. So there's basically two schools of thought i have a great match in store for you guys and i hope you enjoy it remember if you are enjoying the videos please be sure to hit the thumbs up button consider clicking the join button and becoming a member to take your support of the channel even further and we're a little over a month out so i'm going to start reminding you november 6th is our Extra Life Charity date where we're going to raise money for sick kids at the Arnold Palmer Hospital in Orlando, Florida, hoping to raise $37,000 this year on November 6th. Okay, here's the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves in the tomb of the Spider Queen today. The friendly team Garrosh, The Butcher, Nova, Medivh, and Malthiel. The enemy team Thrall, Arthas, Tychus, Junkrat, and Medivh. Uh, I'm not feeling that great today. Have some Dayquil in my system. Usually makes my head really fucking foggy. But we're going to try to do the best we can. Extremely odd to see a Medivh mirror match. I was not expecting that at all. No healer in this game. So thinking about our own survivability is pretty important. 
But because there's no healer, I would go for unrivaled strength, but the enemy Medivh could just save whoever I throw with portals. So I'm kind of at an impasse here. Let's try unrivaled strength and see how it goes. Arthur's moving up to our front line is going to back up before anything is done. Thrall being thrown into our towers and our friendly butcher is going to start the meat, the game off with 20 meat of his own. Or is it 25? Yeah, 20 meat of his own. I'm going to try to keep that train going as long as this game continues. There we go, throwing Medivh forward. Does he have a portal? No, he does not. And we have fed the Butcher in the beginning of this game. Garrosh is one of those characters that can set up his team incredibly well, but the moment he has to do anything by himself, it can be one of the most challenging things <laughs> in the game. He doesn't have any lane clear. He really doesn't have much damage, honestly, to speak of. But what he does have is phenomenal displacement and phenomenal crowd control. Our Q ability is the Groundbreaker. This is what we are... Ooh, good dash by Tychus. Almost got him, almost got him. This is like a triangle skill shot that deals damage and knocks up our adversaries that get hit by the end of the skill shot. Our W ability Bloodthirst allows us to hit an enemy for some damage and then heal ourselves. Our E ability is what's causing this horde symbol to appear above some of our adversaries. It is called Wrecking Ball. If we encounter an enemy and get close enough to them, we can then throw them forward. I'm gonna get him away from his portal now that he put it down. Playing around the portal like that means I control when he can go through it. Rather than just throwing him right away, I let him make the first move and then capitalized on it. That's some big, big fucking brain Garrosh play right there. That's some big brain shit right there. As Garrosh loses HP, he gains armor. So you can see my armor's at 35, 34, and that means that it can be a little weird to kind of get your pacing down for this character because you are actually quite survivable at low HP, but getting yourself to low HP and being comfortable in a team fight can be pretty difficult. We're going to follow up the Butcher engage with a stun of our own. The Butcher didn't follow up his own engage, however. Uh, Tyke is playing pretty far forward. The reason I didn't throw him there because was because there was a lot of minions next to me that would take my... Uh, would take priority on the ability. Not only am I playing this game while not feeling good, I'm also playing this game on the weekend in a MOBA. That's a dangerous combination of circumstances all <laughs> colliding at one time. Although the friendly team seems like they're doing pretty good. Butcher at 103 so far. Uh, and it actually looks like in a weird turn of events, this team might actually be like soaking lanes and doing weird stuff. We do lose Mouthiel up top. And you'll notice that um, I'm just kind of roaming around to see if I can be useful somewhere. I'm not really trying to stick to a lane and farm like I normally do. You guys know I'm all about macro play and soaking XP, but there's a time and a place and a character and a place for that. And unfortunately, this is not one. Butcher charging in on the enemy team's Junkrat is going to be thrown back. I'm taking a lot of damage. Tychus can absolutely shred us with his minigun. We need to be very careful around him. Uh, the friendly Medivh putting a portal down and then not taking it. That's certainly a bold choice, but the enemy Medivh is going to be taken down. And if anything bad happens, we can use into the fray to throw one of our allies to safety if the situation calls for it. This used to be a level 7 talent for Garrosh, and in his most recent rework, they made this just a staple of the character, because it was pretty much guaranteed to, uh, or expected of you to take as a talent. Uh, we could get an upgrade for that to give our targets a little more armor if they were being thrown. I'm gonna go for Unstoppable here. Throw this guy into our friendly team's butcher and hopefully pick up a kill on Thrall as a result. Look at that displacement. It's really fucking good, actually. The friendly team does have enough to turn in and it looks like we should right up here. Uh, Tyka's pushing up for the enemy team. Let's see if we can stun him here. Indeed, we can. Uh, Arthas really close to our wall here, but I, I was just like just a fucking fraction of an inch away from being able to throw him in. Uh, if Medivh wants to stop me from backing, he can, uh, but he's going to have to answer for his crimes. I actually know he won't. <laughs> he's not going to have to answer for shit. Will he do it again, though? 
That's a lot of like resources dedicated to just stopping me from going back for two seconds. And I don't think Medivh has his portal right now. The Butcher playing so fucking scared though. He had that kill. It was his. The friendly Medivh playing really far forward here is going to give himself protected, by the way, to get out to safety. Junkrat for the enemy team, thrown into the wolves! There it is, boys. There it is. And the Butcher's quest is done. Five minutes in, we fed him well. Eat, my child. Eat. Two members of the enemy team down in the bottom lane. If Medivh gave me a portal forward, I could help him out here. Uh, but it doesn't look like that's happening. Sometimes just being in bird form next to an enemy is enough to scare them away. And it looks like that was the case there. The enemy team's Medivh is going to be thrown in. He does have protected and a portal, but can he get to it? No, he cannot. Very well time stunned by the Butcher is going to keep his feet planted. Now, as soon as we get past... Oh, never mind. I thought we were getting pushed in on the bottom there, so I backed up. I was going to say, as soon as we get past the uh, the fort, we can play really, really aggressive again. Uh, we're going to into the fray our Nova. Never mind. She was thrown away on her own. Let's get her over this wall, actually. There you go. And we're going to be able to walk out of here. No problemo. Pretty incredibly even XP for both teams so far. There's a stun on Thrall, hopefully locking him down long enough for something to happen. Mouthiel jumping in, but is feeling the punishment from the enemy team right now. I just hit my sip. I shouldn't back. Let's go ahead and take Warlord's Challenge. Warlord's Challenge is an AoE taunt that we can throw out around our character. Not a very big area of effect, however. But this stops enemies from being able to attack other targets and also makes it so... Um, I don't want him doing much of anything. Also makes it so they are going to be silenced for quite some time. Unfortunately, can't do anything to help out the Butcher there. I do have my CC immunity if I need it. Thrall engaging on me. Let's throw him in. Oh, they're protected by the way. Is it going to be enough? Dude, this is weird as fuck. The mirror Medivh is so strange. McGee's actually a pretty good counter for our character, too, because obviously we're trying to set up these situations where um, we're just helping our team secure kills. And Medivh excels at stopping those situations. The enemy team's Medivh also uh, is an advantageous, advantageous pickup for Arthas because the mobility that Arthas lacks, Medivh can easily provide with portals. Really, really, really weird matchup. And I would say pretty even game so far as well, even though I think I've been doing a good job of initiating. Uh, the kill's relatively even. XP almost at a gridlock right now. Mouthiel does seem to be doing a little bit of dying. But we uh, can at least pick up his coins here. Arthas for the enemy team move again. We're going to move him back, taunt him underneath tower as well, and that's going to be a pretty easy pickup. And that's just how strong Warlord's challenge is, man. It can it can make someone who's positioned slightly off a guaranteed kill. Speaking of a guaranteed kill, we do see a kill picked up on the butcher there. Unfortunately, he finished his quest early and hasn't been able to stack up too much since completing his quest. What is this portal? Question mark? What is that? What is what is that for? Did you want me to take that? Are you afraid of corners? All right. Anyway, I digress. Both Medivhs actually have Polybomb, so we're going to take that camp without worrying about him being up there. The enemy team, I think, are rotating down to the bottom lane to get a Mercenary camp right now. They're also ahead of us on XP, so soaking is going to be pretty important at this stage of the game. Medivh is doing a very good thing, which is as his team is getting objectives on the map, he's simply following us around to make sure that... He always has vision of what's going on. Let's go ahead and throw Medivh in here. He is taunted, he is stunned, he is polybombed, and he is dead. We're gonna become unstoppable to get ourselves away from our adversaries here. Uh, one stun being thrown back might help the Butcher get to safety. He's choosing to sit back and fight instead. Uh, how many deaths does Mouthiel have now? Four, oof. Um, the enemy team is pushing in. Uh, if I can mount up and step forward, we might be able to do something cool here. 
I'm gonna get Blood Craze, which is going to give me a heal over time. We do send Tychus over the wall. Is there going to be enough damage to capitalize on this? Yes, there is. Once again, a very nice fucking kill secure there, dude. I'm pretty proud of how I'm playing this game. Pretty fucking proud indeed. I'm going to become unstoppable here because I don't want to be rooted to death as that ability was coming towards me. The Butcher charging in on a mercenary camp right now. Thought I queued as Mathiel. Is this about to be a joke? But instead, I'm dead Thiel. <laughs> that was better than my joke. Smile. <laughs> That was way better than my joke. Uh, the enemy team is falling back right now. They are getting a lead over us as well. Uh, we do see Arthas kind of pushed up here. I'm gonna turn around and focus on Thrall, stunning him. He still, he got the Sunder off mid throw. What the fuck? Sending him back into my team. So hopefully he is taken down. We're gonna become unstoppable and try to just meander this way. We are protected by the way from Armadive. Does Arthas actually fuck hit him? Hit him. Hit hit him. 1v4. <laughs> what the fuck? You don't have to escort me back to the base. I'm okay. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, back to it. Back to it. I just want him to play with a little confidence. I know he's got a lot of deaths. I'm not trying to be mean to the guy, but that's an Arthas and you can heal off of all of his ghouls. That's unlimited HP for a Mouthiel in that situation. Uh, we do have 42 butts to our team's name. We can start to turn some of those in. Medivh does see me here. We are going to miss the stun on him, unfortunately. Oh, and I can't fucking throw him. You know who I can throw? This fucking guy. Then we're going to go in with the taunt, start to back up a little bit, hit the stun. The stun does miss. The Butcher finally engaging, is going to pick up the kill on Tychus and on Junkrat as well as we begin to march back in. Thrall holding the line for his team. I heard Thrall got a really big buff in this most recent patch. That guy's doing a lot of stuff this game. He's being pretty impactful this game. I do think it's pretty fucking shit he was able to get that stun off earlier. I'm still a little upset about that. Uh, we do have Thrall pushed back pretty far, but most of our damage did back away. Nova, I see you, and I appreciate you, Nova. I appreciate you. We do land the stun on Arthas. I don't think I can get the throw, however. Let's go ahead and get this regen globe. The team needs... I can't do math right now. My fucking... I can't... It's taken all... Everything I got to just talk right now. The Butcher engaging pretty hard on Arthas. I went to throw him back as well there, but it looks like that was unnecessary. Did land the taunt as well, just to make sure that he could not move. We've done 9,000 healing for ourselves right now, which is pretty good. Junkrat for the enemy team starting to move up. Does he know I'm here? I doubt it. And now he's stunned. Protected, by the way, as the Butcher engages, and that's yet another kill for our hungry boy here. He's feeling good. We're putting the food in his belly. That's for sure. If Medivh wants to come down, I'm going to be standing where he gets out of that bird so I could throw him around a little bit. Uh, Thrall moving forward. Oh, I fucked up. We're going to become unstoppable here for just a quick moment. The stun does land as well. Trying to get out of the polybomb. Uh, Butcher going a little bit too far there. That was my fault. That should have been a guaranteed kill when Thrall walked up. Uh, let's go ahead Get this sippy cup out of the way. Arthas re-emerging. We sidestep his crowd control. Uh, let me mount up again. We might be able to do a little something. I got you, bud. Don't even worry about it. You're fine. If he goes back in, I keep I keep standing next to Mathiel because I want to throw him out of there. I want to get him to safety. Uh, we actually have enough to turn in in a strange turn of events. The enemy team was really close this entire time, but we've systematically been picking off their spider buttholders this entire time. Uh, we see two members of the enemy team up in the top lane as Medivh is still continuing to follow us around and give vision for his allies. Our friendly Medivh checking boss right now. No one on it at the moment. Let's try to turn in up here. We already know there's two members of the enemy team up here, and that's intentionally why I'm going this way. Uh, Arthas, their main tank, is down in the bottom lane, and I was hoping that we could set up for a little bit 
of CC up here, but it looks like this not going the way I was expecting to. Uh, we do see Junkrat's ultimate being used really, really early on. I didn't realize that I was kind of far away from my team in that setup there. Stun on Arthas after the Butcher goes in. Got a ping back on Mouthiel trying to save his life, but unfortunately things are progressing quickly up here. As the Butcher begins to charge, he is going to be hit with the Polybomb and forced to back up. And that Polybomb was spreading there as well. Uh, we do see Thrall really far forward. We are going to hit him with the Taunt as well, locking him down underneath our tower. Uh, stun on Tychus, potentially giving our team a way back in. Butcher is taking it as well. There's the charge, the triple tap going off at the same time. Protected by the way as well, went to stun, but unfortunately that polybomb stopped me in my tracks. Throwing the Butcher in to get him back into melee range. What are his stacks right now? Three fucking hundred as he charges in again, this time on Arthas. The stun does not connect. It, whoa, what was that? That was really strange. Hey, let's not get too greedy here, my dude. Let's not get too greedy. Boss? Question mark? Butcher hits pretty hard. We might be able to do it. Although, uh, we would need to start it soon if we're turning in as well. Yeah, okay. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Uh, Regent Globe is going to help get my HP back up to a respectable level. We're also going to, honestly, I think I'm going to go Death Wish this game. I like Titanic Might quite a lot. I like throwing multiple enemies into the meat grinder, but Death Wish on this level might be really, really good just because we've helped secure so many kills for the Butcher at this point. Oh, I'm fucking tired. All right, quick second to catch my breath. All right, okay, okay. With the objective pushing, it looks like our friendly team mostly focusing on the middle and top lanes at the moment. Tyke is moving up really, really far, is going to become unstoppable. The polybomb does unfortunately spread as well. I was not expecting that. However, Tyke is almost left to the wolves as that portal wasn't lasting very much longer. Uh, I can head down to the bottom lane and grab the sippy cup down here and then help our team. But it looks like we actually lost a lot of momentum. Down in the bottom lane, the objective did passively push and we picked up that building no problem. Also in the top lane, the objective doing some damage to that keep. Uh, but Arthas is going to be able to stop the majority of it. Tychus once again is going to be hit with the stun from the Butcher. And I'm just gonna toss him back towards our team to make sure Medivh can't get a portal placement down for him to survive. Uh, we should get this, it's free XP. And then we also have an objective. Catapults moving down here for the rest of the game. So even though I took a little bit of damage, I think that's fine. We'll also get the region globe out of the lane. The enemy team going for this mercenary camp here and they know we're here as well. Polybomb is going to be off cooldown, but did he see that coming? Well, I'm very crowd controlled. We do pick up a kill on the enemy team's Medivh there. I'm going in for a taunt. We land it right now. Uh, throw Thrall back that way. Beautifully done. And let's make sure that we are away from that because I'm not trying to die right now. Beautiful pickup by the team. Good job, good job, good job all the way, all, all around. Everyone did well there. Uh, we could push in with this and get some pretty good siege damage on the enemy team, but it actually looks like we're mostly going to be falling back at this point, which is okay. Let's get some camps before they respawn. We can grab this and the bottom one fairly easily, and they can't do much about it. Then if we see them responding to that, may maybe we could do a little bit of boss, but I don't know. That may not work out too well. The Butcher's auto attack damage is, must be through the roof at this point. He's up to 340 meat right now. I've been trying really hard to tr prioritize getting him as much food as I can. Matthew down to the bottom lane. I'm heading to him. Uh, but he should be fine. Matthew's pretty good at taking camps. Matthew's one of those characters that I'm always like, man, I should play Matthew. I did for a little bit. He was one of those characters that we sat down for a couple weeks and tried to smash out learning how to play him. Or maybe a week and smash out learning how to play him. 
That's been the most rewarding thing for me in Heroes over the past, I would say, year or two. Is just taking a character I don't know how to play and going all in with it. I mean, Garrosh is an example of that. I was terrible at Garrosh, but then I just was like, one day, let's let's practice. It's going to happen. I need to learn this. And uh, this is the result. Diva, another character that we recently showcased on the channel where I was like, I have no idea how to play this, but I want to. And we just systematically figured it out. The enemy team does have enough butts to turn in right now. Our team is fairly split at the moment. I was going to say, we can assume that they're turning in down beneath us, but that's okay. Uh, we see the majority of the friendly team falling back to the bottom lane to deal with the camps that we picked up. Uh, we can use this as an opportunity. Damn, I wish I had some aggressive portals from Armadie. We can use this as an opportunity to actually shove our lanes forward, though. The objective spawns where the lanes are pushed up to. So, uh, the enemy team's objective is likely not going to get much value unless we somehow get ourselves killed. Uh, Sunder does happen on me, throwing Thraw back to our team. We're going to taunt him after and start to walk away as the polybomb is doing a lot of damage to me at the moment. We do see the Butcher engage with the silence on the back line, but rooted by Arth is not able to move, and it looks like... The prophecy, the foreshadowing came true as our team is wiped, except for Nova and Medivh, and the enemy team is going for the objective. Uh, they are going to get this building down in the bottom lane. That's no problem. And top lane's actually looking kind of weak at the moment anyway. Do spiders passively lose HP? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. I don't think I knew that. I don't think I knew that. Nova's still roaming around looking for a kill at the moment. Probably not going to find too much of anything down here. She definitely needs to be careful. Uh, that team can easily kill her, and Medivh can get the team anywhere they need to be as well. Arth is going for the roots there. We are going to see Medivh start to chase her down. Portal's being placed, but the Odin being used. I didn't see that coming. Didn't see that coming. The Butcher, the last of us to respawn here as we are losing several of our buildings. I'm mounted up and just trying to get up to Junkrat at this point. Uh, there's the Polybomb right now. <laughs> Beautiful triple tap from our friendly... Did he just slide while casting? Excuse me? Uh, if we can get a little bit closer to him, here we go. He's all yours. Take him. I don't need him anyway. Uh, we're pretty far away from another objective. I actually agree with the boss play here. With Medivh down, that opens us up to be really aggressive with boss. And the Butcher's going to be able to cut it down so fucking quickly that it should not, should not matter. I'll go ahead and try to tank it. Malthiel's honestly probably a better tank for this just because of all of the lifesteal that we have, or that he has, versus what we have. I mean, I can heal every now and then, but he... Could heal all the fucking time with ju just by spamming out his Q ability. The enemy team pretty far away. They went for a mercenary camp down in the middle lane. So we have this pushing in now. Still 10 seconds before Junkrat reemerges. So we could push pretty far with this. Uh, everyone's just kind of wandering around, though. They're clearing middle, I guess. I mean, that makes sense. Um, if we're not all together, then uh, we shouldn't be too aggressive here. And the enemy team's all respawning. Yeah, uh, we should just fucking push with that. Should just fucking push with that. Bottom lane is starting to have a few catapults start to stack up. There is an abundance of butts here in the middle lane that we can gather. Let's walk in and try to get some of those. The friendly team needs, what, tw 20? I have 12 right here. Medivh might see me. We do get the building for free up top, so that's good. That's a very good pickup for us. Uh, Butcher down in the bottom lane. The enemy team is all missing from top, so let's call the back here and start to get back to a safer spot. We could join our team for this mercenary camp. I don't think that's a bad idea at all. Medivh hopefully is in bird form. Yes, he is. And he is scouting out that the enemy team might have an idea that we are over here. Butcher the only one showing on the map at the moment. And if the enemy team 
is playing around Medivh, they could easily just teleport everyone onto that character if they decide to do so. We are seeing Thra emerge from the smoke and being thrown into our team. Uh, Butcher a little late on this engage, but there he goes. Now I'm gonna taunt the enemy team's Medivh, then throw him in on top of that. I taunted him so he couldn't use any of his uh, protective abilities on Thra. We kept him at bay. Now our friendly team should get a free turn in right now. And hopefully with this, we push to win the game. I'm very happy with how I played this match. Yeah, I usually don't compliment myself. It's very difficult for me to see the good things that I do. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I'm doing really good this game. I feel like it's going really, really well. Uh, the enemy team's Junkrat is falling back behind the wall. Medivh scouting that out. Uh, let's try to heal off of this catapult before it moves forward. Nova's a little on the low side at the moment, but I think that's fine. We want everybody gathered up. This is not the right time to be backing. That's really fucking unfortunate. Um, whenever you're ready, Spider. Get up here. Whenever you're ready. This should be a free building, but actually Medivh is respawning and our Mouthiel isn't here. So we're actually outnumbered and the enemy team probably has more health than us at this point too. But at least we could take this building for free really fast. Uh, I'm just trying to get a little bit away from Thrall. Never mind, he walked up too far. If Medivh comes down, we taunt him. Here it is. Hopefully the Polybrom doesn't spread too much. We got rid of it pretty quickly. And let's just throw Medivh back in away from his portal. Now, if we could swap over to the middle lane, I don't quite have a stun on Arthas, but I can just hit the building. Uh, Butcher charging in underneath core, bit of a bold move, especially versus the enemy team's tanks, but he is gonna be knocked back by Junkrat, saving him some HP. Uh, oh, fuck me, speaking of Junkrat, another ultimate firing off. We should just be focusing on hitting the building that ends the game at this point if we're going to continue to stay here. Is this some talent I don't know about? <laughs> what is happening to me? What the fuck? <laughs> we still have 25 seconds. Please hit the core. Please hit the fucking core. The core is the place to be right now. Come on, my dudes. Here's a taunt on Tychus as well, staggering the enemy team's deaths. Please hit the core. No one is hitting the fucking core. Hit the core! What? What the fuck? <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> oh my god! Am I just being... Am I just fucking... Am I just getting a little tilted? I mean, it's right there! Hit it! Fucking Butcher's auto attack probably deals 900 damage at this stage of the game! Oh, goodness me. Goodness, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness gracious. Talents we used in today's video, Unrivaled Strength. I went for this because I thought I could pull people away from Medivh's stuff. That was the main reason. Normally I go for the Q stacking quest at level one. Indomitable helps us avoid crowd control. Oppressor into Warlord's Challenge, Blood Craze, Mortal Combo, which I don't actually think I use relatively well. And Death Wish at level 20. The stats for the game, we managed 48,000 siege, 34,000 hero damage. We healed ourselves for 25,000. Or is that how much damage I took? Does it show that? Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you being here. If you did enjoy today's episode, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. I have to go record the intro for this video now. And then I'm going to stop talking for a few hours. Goodbye.